Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the aspects of mass transistor threshold voltage. That means, what do you mean by the threshold voltage and what are the various equations that are related to the threshold voltage I am going to discuss in this video. So, what do you mean by threshold voltage? So, before going into the expression for the threshold voltage, what is the meaning of threshold voltage and what is the purpose of this one? So, threshold voltage threshold voltage so threshold voltage is indicated by vt okay vt r sometimes it is also referred as vth threshold voltage is referred to as vt r vth what do you mean by threshold voltage when a transistor is said to be considered it is in on state or off state we are saying the status of the transistor by the application of input voltage if you are giving 5 volts at the input of the transistor for nmos transistor then we can say the transistor is in on state if we are giving 0 volts then we can say that transistor is set to be in cutoff region okay that means it is nothing but a threshold voltage is nothing but the minimum voltage required to make the transistor on so it is defined as it is defined as defined as the minimum voltage minimum voltage required to switch on the transistor minimum voltage required to switch on the transistor okay that means when input voltage is greater than vt the transistor the transistor is said to be in on state when v in is less than vt the transistor is in off state this is the meaning of the threshold voltage okay as the input voltage is a linear voltage which is varying with respect to time when the input voltage exceeds the threshold voltage vt then the transistor comes into on state until and unless it reaches the vt it is in off state <coughs> okay once the transistor comes into on state later the current starts flowing between the source and drain see here we can also say it is the minimum this is the first definition we can say we can also say it is the minimum voltage minimum voltage required to switch on the transistor or we can also say to create the channel create the channel we know very well the channel is created between source and drain to flow the current Okay, that means the electrons are moving from source to drain so that the current will, will move from drain to source. So, in order to have a path between source and drain, that path is nothing but the channel. To create the channel, we need a voltage that is called minimum voltage called Vt, threshold voltage. Okay, so that the transistor comes into on state. Okay, this is what the meaning of threshold voltage. So, that the threshold voltage can be expressed as the threshold voltage threshold voltage can be expressed as Vt is equal to phi ms phi ms qb minus qss divided by C naught plus two phi F n plus two phi F n. See here V T threshold voltage is expressed as it is in terms of work function phi m s q b minus q s s divided by C naught plus two phi F n. Let us see what is what individually where <coughs> 
where QB is equal to the charge per unit area in depletion layer the charge per unit area in depletion layer beneath the oxide under the oxide beneath the oxide nothing but under the oxide and the second qss is equal to this is also charge q refers to the charge charge density charge density at silicon to silicon dioxide interface nothing but at the gate voltage because of this gate potential only we are having the creation of charge inversion between the source and drain so that the current will flow okay and c naught is nothing but we know very well c naught is nothing but capacitance per gate capacitance per unit area so we can say capacitance per unit area capacitance per unit area and now phi ms is equal to work function work function difference between gate and silicon work function difference between gate and silicon and phi fn is equal to fermi level fermi level potential between inverted surface inverted surface and bulk silicon and bulk silicon this is what the phi fn okay so now so this polysilicon gate and the silicon substrate the value of phi ms is negative suppose if you are taking the polysilicon or any silicon substrate materials the phi ms this work function the phi ms is almost negligible negative and negligible it is a negative value and therefore it can be negligible and this magnitude of the sign magnitude and sign of the vt thus determined by the balance between the remaining negative terms like a qss what is the qss qss is a negative term and as well as the c naught capacitance gate capacitance per unit area okay because these both becomes positive this, this makes the c naught and qss makes the value vt positive so evaluate to evaluate vt each term of this uh, vt expression is determined as to evaluate to evaluate vt each term in one is determined as qb is equal to QB. What do you mean by QB? Charge, charge per unit area. QB is nothing but charge per unit area in the depletion layer beneath the oxide. So QB is equal to 2 epsilon naught epsilon silicon QN into 2 phi Fn plus Vsb. Vsb. So Vsb is nothing but substrate bias potential. This is all under root. This is all under root Coulomb's per meter square. Coulomb's per meter square. And phi Fn work function potential is Kt by Q ln of n by n i intensity concentration and doping concentration volts 
this n capital n refers to the doping concentration depending upon nbr nd and ni is nothing but intrinsic concentration and qss is equal to this value will vary from 1.5 to 8 1.528 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb coulomb per meter square charge densities okay so depending on this crystal orientation all these are depending on the crystal orientation again where vsb where vsb came here vsb is the expression uh, inside the qb so vsb is nothing but substrate bias voltage substrate bias voltage substrate bias voltage is always uh, negative with respect to the source of this nmos and positive with respect to the source of the p mos transistor okay and we know q q is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs and n n is nothing but impurity concentration impurity concentration in the substrate impurity concentration in the substrate so this can be treated as either n a or d n d depending upon the appropriate material that we have chosen either p type or n type acceptor concentration or donor concentration and the next one is epsilon silicon relative permittivity of the silicon relative permittivity relative permittivity of the silicon is approximately equal to 11.7 and we know n is nothing but intrinsic concentration intrinsic electron concentration intrinsic electron concentration which is of 1.6 into 10 power 10 per centimeter cube at room temperature 300 degree kelvin and K is nothing but finally, which is a Boltzmann's constant. Boltzmann's constant that is equal to 1.4 into 10 power minus 23 joule per degree Kelvin. Joule per degree Kelvin. Okay, this is what the th MOSFET threshold voltage, where it is defined as the minimum voltage required to switch on the transistor. Okay. Thank you.